do, we're going to take a quick trip out to the hall, and we're going to uh, do a little talk about seismic waves. Woo! But first, ah, I got to get something. All right, hold on a second. All right, you. Oh. Okay, what I've got here is a slinky, and the slinky represents a portion of the Earth's crust. The slinky is actually the rock material of the Earth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an earthquake right here, and we're going to watch the earthquake waves travel down through the rock of the Earth. The first kind of earthquake that I'm going to make, I'm going to make by shaking my hand back and forth. Now, if you watch the way I move my hand, I'm shaking it, but the waves are traveling back and forth down that way. Now, when I send just one pulse through the slinky, you can see it travel down through the slinky and it comes back to me. The second type of waves that I want to show you, I'm going to take the slinky, I'm going to punch it up, and then I'm going to release it. And with that one, you can see the pulse traveling down through the slinky. Now, the way that the wave moves is called propagation. So when I move the slinky, the wave travels down that way and it comes back. So it propagates in that direction. When I shake the slinky once, you can see the direction that the wave travels down the slinky. And if you look at the piece of tape, you can see the direction that the slinky vibrates. What would your math teacher call those two directions? Perpendicular. Anybody? He would yell at us and make us cry. Right, they're perpendicular. Now, when I put the pulse through the slinky, what are those two directions like? What direction is the wave propagation and what direction is the vibration? How are they com related to each other? Parallel. Right, they're parallel with each other. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to put your heads down on the desks. Get your ear in contact with the desk, and then I'm going to drop the bowling ball and see if you could hear the sound coming up through the desk. I want you to see if the sound reaches both ears at the same time, or does it reach one ear before it reaches the other ear? I've taken a student, and I put her out in a hall, and she's going to drop the bowling ball. Go ahead, Miranda. <laughs> so what you noticed was that when Miranda dropped the ball all the way down the hall, the sound traveled through the solid of the ground very quickly, came up through the desks and into your ears. A moment later, just a split second later, you heard the sound travel through the air because sound travels faster through solid than it does through the air. The same thing with P waves and S waves. P waves travel faster and S waves travel slower. So from one earthquake, from one drop of the bowling ball, we get the two kinds of waves and they arrive at two different times. And the further we are away, the bigger the distance is between the two waves. Is it running? Mm -hmm. Is that what the red light means? There's a red light right there. Mm -hmm. red light. So it's working. Right, is it focusing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, do I look okay? Yeah. Okay.